All right, great. Now, I mean, we are we could always just stop right now, but we could also just add one more level of subdivision. So I'm going to go back to my sub D tools and just add one more uh, division, 1D subdivision. And now you can see it's getting more and more complex as the shape takes more and more yeah, grid points to create geometry. Now, just for fun, I want to also show you that you can create a bit more of an interesting bridge, which already is built upon a bridge to be, I don't know if that makes sense, but let's say I want to bridge these four elements with something here, well, kind of supporting this structure up here, if you will. So let's do kind of another blend where I'm going to do the bridge and let's take these guys. Yeah, enter and let's bridge them somewhere here. So you can see now we kind of create a sub D link inside a sub D link, creating a more complex geometry that is very difficult to define maybe um, elsewise. Now it's really looking like a very weird fish, so I'm sorry for that. But I mean, the playfulness here is uh, the key that we need to understand. And I mean, you know, we can uh, continue on with this, so we could add more and more to this. For instance, if this is a bit fat, which it is. So let's just do the bridge again. These guys, first set, enter. Other set is here, enter. And now you can see it's a bit more yeah, interesting, I would say. Yeah? So it's just a bit more slimmer and get, you can just add more and more detail to this. So, And I mean, the same thing can be said for this guy. This is very fat, no? So what we could do is just bridge it. This, 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 enter. And this, 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 and this, enter. Now you can see we are like kind of packing those things together and it's getting more and more complex. This detail here is not, but I think in a nutshell, that's pretty much it right now. Yeah. So let's say we are kind of happy-ish with whatever this weird thing is. And the next thing that I want to show to you is going to revolve around um, creating a facade. Now there's a beautiful, beautiful command that I find in the sub D tools, which again is this select face loop. And there's and the same thing for edges. You can create like an edge ring. You can create a edge loop. That is, but this edge face is very nice what can do with that before we do this let's take our geometry and just give it one more subdivision so we have just more grids to actually uh, extract in a second and now it's a bit playing around and finding kind of the right uh, loops if you will so this sometimes works sometimes it looks weird I'm just gonna select this guy select loops and then if you for instance just press on one of those edges it will kind of loop all the way through and create this very nice um, streamlined geometry that you can then extract actually. Yeah. So I could just now say enter. This is now there. And then what I could do is just say extract surface and then it will be extracted more or less, right? Before we do this, let me just, let's select many at the same time and extract them at once because the output is just going to be nicer. So. I'm going to say, good, thank you. Let's continue on. And let's just find very nice uh, edges that we can extract. So I'm gonna take, oops. So let's do that again. This guy, oops. So I'm gonna say, edge loop. We had this guy, I think. Now we can go one, two, three to the side here. You really need to f catch the edge, then it is going to work very nice. So you can see there, it worked. And you can also do it on the inner. Uh, so let's say we want to loop around this guy. So we have this here, we can do the same thing here. So we have like the inner loop. We can also go inside this guy and try to loop, let's say this one. And you could also have token the other one. So we just give him kind of a fish gills, if you will. And let's take this guy. Now we have a nice loop there. We could also just do one more here maybe. So we have the inner sides, let's say the inner rings. Now let's go to the outer rings and just add a few more. Let's not overdo it because that also looks weird. So let's just take um, maybe one guy here. This looks good like that. We can also, we can come back to this baby one more inside here. 
one loop like that and let's just do two more on this side so i'm going to take this guy i'm going to press and hold your uh, shift button to add more loops so you can see added that guy there looking good and maybe that's it we don't want to overdo it it's already very striped to be honest so the problem is when we do that now we will lose more or less the um, reflect option it just goes away it's a bit annoying but um it just happens so i know that it's going to happen so what i want to do is just select some stripes along with that so press and hold control very important and then if you go to this edge you should be able to find the same one and we can do the same thing on both sides so i know one two and then three press and hold control and shift one two here and then we have one two three four five and basically that's it no if you can see that we have kind of a different line here so i can also deselect something but press and hold control and you just select it again and then i want to go one two three here so that's it say enter now we want to say extract surface and now we have extracted that and you can see that the dark gray area just went away meaning that we lost the reflect option but the nice thing is we actually still have those stripe selected you can see it's a very nice kind of feature and we can just put it into another layer just for now i'm going to put it into layer four whatever that means and yeah well that's pretty much it we can go to render it and you can already see this very interesting looking figure that we just generated and i mean you can add more and more to this right i just didn't want to overdo it but of course we can just add some more details so let's say you want to add one more stripe here we could just go to shade it and again go to the same command let's say i want to want to here this guy i want to have that also and because i lost my reflect i'm going to just add one more here say extract and say that's it let's say extract that place for me and put it into a new layer and now we can already have a look at this going to render it and you can see I pretty much like it. There's one missing actually here. So I didn't do one. That's my mistake. And I would like to have it. So let's just add this guy also. So we go to a chain. We want to extract this guy. Is it about the same? It looks about right. You can see that I lost my uh, chain function. So it's kind of... Uh, stopping wherever i have my division here so i need to select it manually which is a bit sad enter extract this guy please extract surface now you will see something awkward happen that this will now create a very special geometry out the links which is not nice actually so we would need to uh, do it a bit better when we do it the next time to have all of those surfaces you know extract it out a bit more nice but i can just put it there change and this should also be fine 